We're heading to a beer castle built in the 1800s. It's nasty down here. We've got a thirst for ancient treasures. Yeah! Man, that is just awesome. But even if we find them, I love them. This place might leave us with a bitter taste. How much are we talking? If you offer me $100,000. My name is Jay Chaikin. These are my buddies, Dan and Mark. We make money finding items left behind in abandoned buildings. Whoa! If it's rare, look at that. And it's got history, oh, yeah. we'll make a deal for it. Then restore and resell whatever it takes to save a piece of American history. Guys, welcome to Milwaukee. So where are we going? Mark, we kept you in the dark because we knew that the anticipation would kill you. We're going to the birthplace of Pabst. No way. Yeah, man. Are you serious? Yeah. My man. <laughs> We're on our way to the headquarters of the Pabst Brewing Company. For a Pabst Blue Ribbon <laughs> fanatic like Mark, this is hallowed ground. <laughs> Mark, you can put that over your bed. Now, if that don't scream romance, I don't know what does. It was a school before it was turned into the Pabst headquarters by Captain Pabst. There was a Captain Pabst? Frederick Paps was a steamboat captain who ran the brewery from the 1860s to the turn of the century. Today, we're looking for valuable memorabilia that the captain may have left behind. Hey, hon. Good morning. We broke the news to Mark. He's back there rolling against the window. I like a kid waiting for spring break. Just get there, man. <laughs> All right, you want to find the basement entrance and bring bolt cutters, because the owner won't be there until later. Just remember, we're here at work, not drink beer. All right. <laughs> I must be crazy sending three guys into a brewery with a wad of cash to spend. But beer stuff sells. And if there's one thing Jay knows, it's what to put in a man cave. Hey, thanks, hon. Hey, guys, check out what I see. <laughs> Settle down, Mark. Settle down. Like a beer wow. castle. Man, check that out. All right, guys, let's hit it. Pabst Brewing Company was founded by a German immigrant named Jacob Best way back in 1844, and it used to be called Best Beer. In its heyday, the brewery was a massive complex of 25 buildings and 1.2 million square feet of floor space. But in the 1980s, corporate raiders gutted the company and by 1996 moved operations to Texas, leaving the facility abandoned. We're here, man. You know it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> grab the bolt cutters, Mark. I'll grab some flight. Mark. Mark. Now he's thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Do it up. See what you got. Usually, he's scared to go in. <laughs> he's right in this oh, place. My. Whoa! I made it. Heaven's basement. All right, while we're in heaven, let's look for... There's supposed to be a breaker box down here. It is dark. All right, watch your head, man. Empty kegs. We have over 35,000 square feet to explore, and only one day to search for valuable items before we negotiate with the owner. Time is definitely tight. It's nasty down here. It smells like stale beer. Hey, guys, I found some breaker boxes. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice. All right, let's get to it. Yo. What'd you find, Mark? A bunch of old glasses with shapes on them, just squares and circles. But you what's know? the square and what's the, the circle? I have no idea. You think they were for testing the beer? Oh, Mark, that could have been a job that you would have loved. I'm definitely a qualified beer taster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you see this one, Ken? Oh, look at that. The Steelers 1975 yep. Super Bowl. Now that's a collectible. And it's got the top on it. There's a whole thing of cool, pretty cool cans in here. Beer can collecting is an American pastime right after baseball cards. Rare cans could go for hundreds of dollars a pop. Oh, what do you got here? Oh, my. Check this thing out. Don't be a hero. Hey, like, don't hurt yourself. Get, like, some, help. Yep. Get some help. Get some help. This sign tells a story of Pabst in its prime. A company that took care of its workers? I like that. That's a cool picture. All right, guys, we got to get some bigger items. Let's get out of here, man. These headquarters were built in the style of a German castle, big and ornate. 
there's not much resembling that in the basement, so it's time to head upstairs. Wow. I mean, guys, this is ballroom if I ever saw one. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Guys, I think we found the office area. After the company was bought out, these offices were abandoned. Today, Paps is actually brewed by Miller. Check out that sign. I love it. There you go. Guys, I think we found it. As the story goes, Frederick Paps was a steamboat captain. In 1860, he saved a woman from drowning, who turned out to be the granddaughter of the founder of Best Beer. The two fell in love, got married, and Captain Paps later took over the brewery. I mean, this is a pretty cool office. This is just amazing. What do you think? Hey, you think that's Captain Paps' desk? That doesn't look like a, a, captain a, a desk fit for a captain. I am feeling pretty powerful sitting in this chair, though. Cigar. Hey, what's that? What do, they, what do they call those? I think this is called a barrister. You know what I like about this piece, Dan? That it actually has a little tag that says, this is the property of Blatt's Brewing Company. Yeah. Like, that's pretty cool. You can see it's in, in pretty bad, bad shape. Yo, what'd you find, Mark? This might be the desk. A lot nicer than that other one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, now that's a desk fit for a, a captain. Look at all these little drawers and compartments. My first thought is a cigar, but your cigar would get dry sitting in there. But you know what? That could have been for coins. Look at this. This is just awesome. Oh, look at that. This is called a dovetail. It's like keys that fit in there. So this is called dovetailing. That's dovetailing. And this is actually made by hand here, because you can see where they, they cut too much with the saw. And if it's hand dovetailed, it makes it worth a lot more. This is nice. You don't come across items like this very often. A beautifully handcrafted antique piece is tied to a historic figure. If you find the right buyer, the resale value on this could be huge. Guys, we got a lot of places to go, so let's move on. The captain's desk is amazing, but if I can't buy it for the right price, I'm going to need a pile of beer collectibles to make this trip pay off. Watch your step, guys. Check out the stairs. This place got some awesome woodwork in here. I'll check it out. What is it? It looks pretty cool. Oh, look, it's one of those uh, watchman boxes, man. That's awesome. What is it? A night watchman would walk around here and put one of these keys in the clock he carried with him. It proved that he was actually in this room at that time of night, even though it's a small little item. Of all places, it's probably pretty important to keep your guards honest at a beer company. A night watchman's key station from the Paps Brewery? Someone out there is going to want to collect that. Hey, what's over there, guys? Dan, check it out. We got a safe. That yeah, looks like a safe. What do you think? Come on, Mark, get that open. There's an old Paps in there. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, man, there's a stink coming out of there. Oh, my God. What do we got here? Man, this safe's in great shape. Man, they just made some quality stuff. Paps Brewing Company, in the amount of $5,000. I got ledgers. Them stock papers, this one's in oh, great condition. No way. Copyright 1930. That's 1930? Up, up at the top, right there. I mean, this is basically just the history of this company. Hey, guys. These look like blueprints. What do we got? It's just a whole mess of them. I mean, there's a ton in here. What's that say? The foundation for... Basement plan. Get Paps 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 Yeah. Building number nine. These blueprints are in immaculate condition for their age. They were made when the building was just an idea. That idea stood the test of time and became an American icon. That's what makes these blueprints valuable. What guy collecting Paps memorabilia or, oh, I mean, would love to have a framed blueprint? you know, the Paps Brewing Company. Nice find, guys. Paps once sold 18 million barrels of beer per year. They were giants in the American brewing industry. To cover the massive headquarters, I'm sending Dan upstairs while Mark and I check out the rest of the building. Oh, 
Well, Mark, I think we've entered the infirmary. Pabst had a reputation for taking care of its workers, and this infirmary shows why. Medical care for every employee on the premises, that's what made companies like this great. And these 